we are exploiting a very low percentage of the capabilities of AI where we are at, at a global level. It is even worse when you now look at it from the global south, where uh, exploitation of AI models is even at a lower level. So what I would say is that because we don't even yet know uh, some of the things that the capabilities that AI provides, the frameworks that can safeguard uh, are not yet even there. I think the key pathways to advance towards a just digital era is to understand AI as a socio-technical process where many people participate of this process, either as technology makers or as users, but also those people that decide which technology we are going to make. Take into account the imbalances of power and agency that different actors, but also different countries have in the process of dealing with AI. As long as we have fragmented and uncoordinated um, efforts on the ethics of AI, I don't think that we will ever have a just and equitable uh, and inclusive digital era. One clear pathway that I find very promising are global multi-stakeholder initiatives. Firstly, they lend a certain amount of legitimacy to the principles being discussed and that are agreed upon. Secondly, they raise the cost associated with not complying with these principles, both for governments as well as for companies. And finally, they put this topic on the top of the agenda for governments and companies by making it a very salient topic and lending a certain urgency to the topic. We need to include voices from across society and from around the world. Our approach to ethical artificial intelligence governments must be multilateral, multi-stakeholder, and truly inclusive to ensure that good practices and effective governance frameworks and legislation are shared, are led together, and are adopted internationally, and that the benefits of these technologies are equitably distributed. We need other people, other voices from other spaces, other domains of knowledge, other disciplines to come in and to shed light on many of the blind spots of this conversation up to now. AI, it's nowadays part of the global common good and it's part of the global common challenge. And this is why Globe Ethics is offering this platform of multi-stakeholder, multidisciplinary, international dialogue. We don't need one regulation, one recommendation. We need an open-ended dialogue to continuously cope with this global challenge.